my dear fellow listeners and viewers, today I would like to share with you a few examples so that by the end of all of these examples, you will realize and understand that generally speaking, nobody cares about you and I. People are more concerned about the position that the person holds. So for example, let's say you have a regular everyday person who runs for um, a political position. Let's use that one as an example. And let's say they were to win a political seat, people will be all over it. That person will automatically have lots of friends, lots of followers. Uh, people will be looking up to that person, you know, um, in more of a special way, so to speak. They will garland that person. They will make sure to put that person, you know, on the front row, the first seat. That person will be the first one to be invited when there is an event and all of that. And what that goes to show is that people don't care about an individual. They do not care about the person. They are more concerned about the position where the person holds. Because we have seen it from time to time. We've seen it over and over. So let's say that person loses his or her position. Eventually, people forget about that person. People will start to focus on the new person who holds that position. And that goes for a lot of different things, but I'm just giving you a little bit of an example. I remember, this is a long story, a long time. When I was performing puja for somebody, I used to be an assistant pre um, Hindu priest, by the way. I was doing puja for somebody very, very young, was a teenager. And um, I remember when um, the mother of the son who was doing the puja insisted that the son, you know, wash my feet and wipe my feet and all of that. They were not necessarily honoring me there, right? They were honoring the position I held at the time. So just, you know, that just goes to show um, that people do not care about, you know, um, people in general. They're just more concerned about, um, you know, the position they hold. And this is something very important. However, having said all of that though, if you are able you know, to have people who respect you regardless of what position you hold, it means that you're doing all the right pieces, right? It's not possible, but extremely difficult, by the way. I just came from the, um, I just stepped out to grab something very quickly. And though I had a mask on, there was one girl very excited, the, the cashier actually, very excited um, and, and, and recognized me a little bit. I'm not sure how she recognized me, but then, but um, I guess she followed me on LinkedIn or something of that kind. And when she realized what me, she was all excited, um, you know, and, and that because she know me to have held, you know, um, certain important pieces here in Canada. Other than that, she would have not even cared, right? Uh, and so it goes to show that um, it happens all the time. And I think um, it is important for us to really kind of reflect on that us as individual because we tend to give attention to um, people for no reason sometimes, you know, and we, because everybody wants, um, you know, everybody wants to be in the spotlight. Everybody wants that extra attention. It is a, a human thing. It is how society, um, you know, tend to be these days. Very rarely you're going to have a handful of people who, you know, kind of step back and kind of put all of that I decide what the problem is people like you and I, we are the ones who are contributing to all of this. Right. And I'm not necessarily saying that it's a bad thing, but the thing is, um, why should we actually honor a position and not the person? Right. Because if I was to hold, let's say a really high position, um, you know, and if for some reason I end up, you know, doing something a little bit different, does that mean I should be getting, um, you know, different treatment? It shouldn't be that way, but it's happening. So for example, the garbage collector, for example, the person who we depend on to keep our city clean, the person who we depend on to keep our street and roads clean, right? We, we Generally speaking, people don't give them the respect they deserve, right? But if the same person, the same very people, if they were to do something different, you know, um, you know, different position where they are in, you know, in 
position of authority and so on, we're going to treat them different. It's very troublesome, you know, um, how we as um, human beings operate. It is for that reason, by the way, I, pers I purposefully um, call the region of Waterloo and I really um, commend the, um, the workers, um, you know, for doing a great job. Because here in the region where I live, those guys, when they pick up the garbage on Tuesdays, they are so consistent in what they do. They will pick up the garbage, they will separate, you know, all the recycling pieces, then they will put back everything nicely together and they do it consistently. And I actually felt that, you know, it was necessary for me to call to kind of um, let them know that whoever is doing this consistency, you know, in such of a good way, um, we appreciate that. And since then they continue that, since then like, everything has been perfect. Um, but I did that for a purpose. But to get back to what I'm saying here, for those of you who are watching, listening, do know that we have to be conscious of all of these pieces that we are sharing. We are doing these um, motivational video not for, for the sake of doing it. We're doing it because we want to address important pieces that we are seeing. And we realize at some point, we, we have to do something about it, right? So if you can walk away with one thing here from this particular video, do know that we should try our best to always honor the person and not the position, huge difference. Because what does it mean if for some reason my life, you know, gets a little bit, you know, to the lower end, so to speak, because anything is possible. Does that mean that I will be treated differently? Does it mean that we're going to treat people differently because that they're, you know, they're not of, you know, high profile kind of job. They're not kind of known in society. Nobody knows their name. So we're going to treat them differently or because they do, um, you know, um, job that we don't, um, you know, feel comfortable or, or don't want to do, so to speak. And so that is what I'm hoping that you get out of this. It is happening. There's no question about that. Uh, people honor the, the position always. Um, but we need to rethink all of this, you know, because um, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that um, because it, that's the way it has been for years and decades and generations, you know, uh, means that we have to kind of continue along that path. Things have changed and we have to try to um, you recognize that and make the change within us. You and I, the people who are watching and listening right now, have that power to make that change. That's the thing. We have the power to make the change. So next time, when you see somebody, regardless of what position they hold in, in life, you know, try to give them fair amount of respect. Not because somebody is, you know, in a higher power, it means that we are going to give them all the attention, all the attention. That's one of the reasons, by the way, when we do our community um, concert, the Caribbean Dreams concert, that is, we intentionally do not invite, um, you know, all the hierarchy people. We do that for a reason because we don't feel it is necessary. Right, and uh, if because if we do that, it means that we are doing the same thing what everybody else is doing, and we need to break that cycle. And we're the ones are trying our best to set that example. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. My name is Narendra Sukram. Wishing you a great today and even a better tomorrow. I'll talk to you soon.